It's time for our World War II Patriot of the Day on Studio 1430, Wednesday, April 15th. And today, Lorraine introduces us to her father, Lawrence E. Latito. Lawrence was born May 10th, 1921 in Denver of Italian immigrant parents. He graduated from Arvada High School, the class of 39, and then graduated from CU, where he received his bachelor's in chemistry, math, and physics. He volunteered and entered active duty with the Army Air Corps in July of 1942 and was commissioned second lieutenant in May of 43. While in training, he'd received a degree from UCLA in meteorology through his service. He was then retained as instructor at UCLA for subsequent classes. While in Hollywood, he met his soon-to-be wife, Patricia. He left soon for basic training in Florida and Utah and returned six months later, proposed, and was married three months after that. They were married for 59 years. Major Lawrence Latito was then assigned three U.S. airfields in California before going overseas and ending World War II in the Philippines. He spoke of the active seas that made the journey by sea to the islands horrific. He was quite proud that having been born in landlocked Colorado, he was one of the few that didn't get seasick. Another tale was of the three times a day turkey meals he endured during his eight month stay in Zamboanga in the Philippines. Turkey, not high on his list of favorite foods. Released in April 1946, Larry decided to seek a career with uh, the airlines who were expanding into Europe. He joined TWA in August of 1946 who in 1947 then loaned him to the Irish government in need of meteorologists at Shannon Airport. He continued in Ireland until he was recalled to active duty April 1951 from the reserves because of the Korean War. Because of the Irish experience and familiarity with the North Atlantic and European weather, he was assigned as squadron consultant to the Hemispheric Weather Center in Ruslip, England. Released September 1953 and returned to TWA, the family continued to live their lives in Europe until they returned to Arvada in 1988. Lorraine says dad was very proud of his military career. He annually attended Veterans Day at her son's school in his uniform and told the kids a variety of his military stories. In the last few months of his life, he spoke of some of his military duties he had kept to himself, one of which included weather forecasts for the dropping of the bomb. Dad passed away December 2004. He, his generous spirit, love of his country, and love of family is missed every day. His five children and wife, Patty, honor him and his patriotic spirit. We miss you, Dad. And Lorraine, thank you for sharing with us your father, Major Lawrence Latito, World War II veteran, our Patriot of the Day at Studio 1430.